Hi, welcome to my platform. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location or anytime you are meeting this video on YouTube. In case if it is your first time and you like what I do here, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell. Set it to all notifications so that you will be able to get notified each time I upload a new video. And what do we do in this platform? We react to all forms of video, local, international, especially in Biafra land and in Nigeria. How we do it, we present the video, we introduce it, then we sit down there to watch it together with you from the beginning to the end. Then later we'll go to the comment section to air our mind. You are free to criticize, you are free to air your mind, but let us always do it constructively so that nobody will be offended. So, Ibondio Mane Genti, Eke Nemono, Umu Nemundin Jemono, Nasanachi, Onabonachi, my lovely family, you people are now my family. I appreciate your massive support. I love and cherish each and every one of you. Never take your support for granted as we watch this video. Tano is not doing well in DSS custody, according to his lawyer, Ejimako. I was expecting this news to be trending, but it's not. And I don't know why. Torturing a Namdekano in DSS custody is torturing the whole of Igbo race. Torturing a Namdekano, assaulting his fundamental human rights, is assaulting the whole of Igbo race. Where are our traditional rulers? Where are our religious rulers? Where are the state governors? No matter the crime of Namdekano, he should not be suffering in DSS custody. At least take Namdekano to a prison yard. That is what I'm proposing. The lawyer said that Namdekano does not sleep with pillow. Namdekano's health is deteriorating. They injected Namdekano. Namdekano stays in a tiny room for 23 hours. The one hour that he is supposed to see sunlight, he's not allowed to interact with anybody. They are isolating him. How will you feel when they keep you in a room for one week? Are you going to survive it without interacting with anybody? No television, nothing, nothing. That is what Nambikano is passing through in DSS custody. According to the lawyer, Nambikano is putting on just one cloth. Since how many months that they kidnapped him? And you're keeping quiet because he's not your brother. You're keeping quiet because he's not your husband. You're keeping quiet because he's not your son. Is that why you guys are keeping a grave silence? Is that why everywhere is quiet? Is it not supposed to be trending? If it was your brother, will you keep quiet? If it was your brother, will you keep silent? You guys are afraid to talk about him now because you feel police is going to arrest and you've forgotten that you are as good as walking dead. I don't expect this from most of you. He does not deserve your timeline or what? He does not deserve your time on Facebook. He does not deserve your time on Instagram. Why is this news not stranging? He's suffering. They are breaking him physically, psychologically, mentally, emotionally. They are breaking him gradually. And if they continue like this and we continue keeping silent, you will wake up tomorrow and hear the shocking news of your life that he suffered. He couldn't make it any longer. God forbid, I don't wish it for Nam Dekano. But action speaks louder than voice now. Action speaks louder than voice. At least I am proposing that he should be taken to prison yard where he will see people. It's much better than isolating him, keeping him in a tiny room. Imagining the thing is making me to have migraine already. Because I know I can't stay in a place for even three hours without talking to anybody. Why are you guys keeping quiet? Where are the men? Our men are now gossiping online. Men don't gossip. Where is your manhood? Where is your manhood? What makes you a man? The manhood you have is what makes you a man. A man doesn't gossip. Gossip is left for women. Keep this talking, talking for women. Our men act, not talking. Men are not gossiping from one place to another. Mr. A did me this, Mr. B did me this. The leader of Biafra is suffering. He's not a terrorist. Even Osama Bin Laden that destroyed the World Trade Center was not treated the way they are treating an empty camp in Jesus' custody dungeon. You know, you guys know what Boko Haram is doing presently. You know Boko Haram has destroyed the north. They have captured in many communities. They have even taken armor tankers from army people. You know what they are doing. They are even collecting tax. They are asking for rice, gari beans. They are kidnapping. I have not heard that Boko Haram is in TSS custody. At least 
Boko Haram that has kept people like this in the north are supposed to be kept like that and tortured. Even Boko Haram is not. Your fundamental human rights, you shouldn't be abused when you are still not guilty. But the Boko Haram that we are seeing what they are doing that are supposed to be kept in DSS dungeon, they are not treating them like that. Fulani Hesnel, you guys know what they did and what they are still doing. They raped our sisters, they butchered our father, they destroyed farmlands. Fulani Hesnel are not in DSS custody. But in Nam the Kano, for reasons best known to them, is in DSS custody where he's suffering. Keeping silent doesn't mean that you are not going to get the pain when it's time. I don't know why you are keeping quiet. Because it's not your brother, it's not your husband. That is why I say you guys are wicked. Who know where I job? Who know the wicked? Who know the wicked? That is why this thing is not trending. He is suffering. Very soon now we will go to 25th of December. You guys will bring spoon to eat fried rice and chicken. And your brother is suffering in DSS custody. Torturing in Nandikan is torturing Igbo race. They are holding in Igbo in DSS custody. You guys should stop keeping quiet. This silence is killing me gradually. Our men should stop gossiping. You people talk too much. Leave this talking, talking, talking for women. Leave this gossip, gossip, gossip for women. That, that manhood you have, you have to show it. That you are a man, not by gossiping. Taking seat or took raw sewa, sitting down and gossiping from one place to another. Nam Dikano is suffering. That is what the lawyer said. I am not wicked like you all. That is why I cannot keep quiet. I am not evil and wicked like all of you. That is why I cannot keep quiet. I cannot keep quiet because he's not a terrorist. He should not be treated as such. I was expecting this news to be trending everywhere. But it's not trending. Instead, one rubbish is trending. David Doe, one million challenge. And the celebrities are capitalizing on it. People, every other place, every other person is capitalizing. Let me paste my account number so that I will know whether people will give me money. Stupidity of a black person. Wickedness. That is why I call you guys wicked people. People are now capitalizing on the fact that David Doe is talking about one million challenge. See your, your stupid celebrities. Everybody is now pasting account number. Begging online. You guys are now begging. This man is the person that is talking about liberating Africa. So that you people will stop begging. I know most of you are hungry, but you don't know how to come out and say it. You guys are begging when the man that wants to liberate Africa is in DSS custody. It pays. You don't want it to trade. You are pressing account number, telling your fans to come and pay. If you are worthy of the money, you shouldn't even beg your fans to be paying you money. Now, look at people that are hungry. People that have not seen food to eat are giving 2,000, 1,000, 3,000, 5,000. That is what Africa is all about. You guys are so stupid. Where do you know why? You guys are so useless. Look at the stupid thing that is trending. What rubbish? It's only in Africa that rubbish trends. Rubbish trend. Africans don't know how to stand up for their rights. If they even try to protest today and they tear gas them, everybody will run away. Nobody will talk about it again. That is why you guys are the way you are. Now, this rubbish is trending. Begging online, pasting account number, telling people that have not seen food to eat, to be giving you money. Tomorrow, you people will go to church. You guys are wicked more than Lucifer. Who would do wicked? He is not your brother. He is not your father. He is not your uncle. Therefore, we shouldn't talk about him. Because Nam Dikano is in here, Lola Alo. When we talk about him now, police will come after us. The name of Nam Dikano is not good to hear. And you think you are living like this. You have forgotten that you are walking dead already. If anything happens to Nam Dikano, the whole of Igbo race will be wiped out. I'm telling you because they will do you people shagging. I can move no shagging. I can move no nonsense. I am proposing that Nam Dikano should be taken out of DSS custody. Take him to prison yard. Ndibo, please. Our traditional rulers, I'm begging you, religious rulers. I am begging you. I am begging you people in the name of God, please. Uno chakam goru ni bere nana. Nam Dukano should stop suffering in DSS custody. All these year year celebrities go outside the country and see what celebrities do. They stand up and speak. They don't. They are not scared like people are, are always scared. That is why politicians once once you see a politician, you will look for a way to be collecting money from him. Rubbish is always trending. You go to church when you are deceiving yourself. Now it's time for you to pray for your brother to talk about your brother so that they will bring him out of pain. You cannot do it. 
You are doing one useless challenge where you are begging people for money online. Stupid people, stupid African mentality. Your mentality now on our soul. You guys are wicked. It will not change. It will not change. The only thing that changes in Africa, Nigeria precisely, is rubbish. Nonsense. Beggars online. Now I'm becoming suffering in DSS custody. Action speaks louder than voice. Please. Now I'm becoming is suffering in DSS custody and some. Thank you so much for watching this video together with me. Like I said before, if it is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel and you like what I do, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video, leave your comment in the comment section. You are free to criticize, but let us do it always constructively. Remain blessed. I appreciate your massive support and I love and cherish each and every one of you. Until I meet you again in my next video, for now we say bye-bye.